the given integration is integral e raised to 2x into cos 3x dx. Now here, this we have standard integration of integration of, we have standard from like e raised to ax of cos of bx dx. Okay, you can apply this directly and you will get direct answer. This is by integration by parts, we have to do two times, but they will be somehow lengthy. Okay, now we will solve different way in a complex form. Okay, now now we know e raised to by Euler's theorem e raised to i theta can be written as cos of theta plus i sine of theta in a complex form where i square is 1 minus 1 okay, in a complex format. Now since we have 3x can I write this e raised to i into 3x is equals to what? Instead of theta, what I have to put, I have to substitute cos of 3x plus i sine of 3x. Okay. This is by Euler's theorem, okay, by Euler's formula, the complex, the for the complex number. From here, instead of theta, I am substituting 3x. Okay. Now, whatever theta you have, I am writing over here. 3x okay now this cos 3x okay now this cos 3x therefore i can say cos of 3x is equals to ha, this is called real part okay this is called imaginary part real part means what it is free from i okay and imaginary part means what those terms which are associating with i that's called imaginary parts now this cos of 3x i can write is real part real part okay real part of this okay real part of e raised to i 3x as a, otherwise i can say therefore sine of 3x or similarly you can write sine of 3x is what imaginary part of e raised to i 3x okay imaginary part means this one real part means this one okay now look at here this can be cos of we have cos of 3x over here okay so this we don't need over here this can be written as real re means real part okay okay real part of integral e raised to 2x this okay cos 3x i can write as real part of e raised to i 3x into dx okay now base are same, so we can add the indices. Therefore, real part of integral. If I add this to e raised to twice x plus i 3x into dx. Okay. Now this is same as real part. You can cap like this real part. We have to consider only the real part. Real part of now integral e raised to what this. Uh, if I take x common, if I take x common over here, what we get? 2 plus 3i into dx. Okay. Remember, we have integral of e raised to kx dx, where k is constant strictly greater than 0. This is ms e raised to kx upon, again, this, this indices, we have to differentiate with respect to x. In short, we have k. Okay plus some arbitrary constants okay similarly if i integrate this okay if i integrate this then there will be real part of this is what if i integrate this will be e raised to x into 2 plus 3i upon the differentiation of this with respect to x is what this will come 2 plus 3i okay some constant okay so with some constants now now i will remove this this can be as written as real part of now, now we want to consider real part over here, but in denominator we, we are associating with uh, imaginary, 
imaginary parts over here i okay in order to remove this i if i if we divide numerator and denominator by its complex conjugates means conspect conjugate means what if z equals to 2 plus 3i okay then complex conjugate we denoted by nz bar that is 2 minus 3i means you have to change you have to keep real part as it is you change into the complex part okay so imaginary parts okay that's called conju complex conjugate so in order to become real part in order to choose the real part we have to this button this denominator 2 plus ti we should get free from i so in order to get free from i let's rationalize denominator and denominator by its conjugates so real part of e raised to x 2 plus 3i upon 2 plus 3i into okay now its conjugate means what what we have 2 minus 3i upon 2 minus 3i now here it is only from a minus b into a plus b so we have a minus b into a plus b is we have a square minus b square okay a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square is implies equals to real part of e raised to x now here okay here also I can separate over here. Okay, this also I can separate. I can separate 2x into e raised to 3i into 2 minus 3i. Okay, upon this is a square means what here 2 square minus 3i the whole square. What is 3i the whole square? 3i the whole square is 3 square into i square. 3 square is 3 to the 9 i square is minus 1 therefore we will get minus 9 over here since this minus 9 okay here what we have since this is also real part okay this is free from uh, free from what free from i as well as this become what this become minus 9 okay this become minus 9 therefore i will uh, bring outside from the real part e raised to 2x upon here to here what we have is upon let's write for time being real part let's let's take this first okay here no write on here e raised to 2x e raised to 3i 2 minus 3i upon here what we have 2 to the 4 4 minus okay here 3 to the 9 my minus 9 here here we have minus minus plus 9 here 4 plus 9 is what 13 okay here we can write 13 over here for 13 now this okay this is real part this is real part why because this is free from i okay therefore let's bring this outside from this so e raised to 2x upon 13 real part of e raised to 3i 2 minus 3i okay now what is three e raised to three i? Okay, remember e raised to e raised to i theta is what cos theta plus i sine of theta. Okay, three i is same as i three. Okay, here no problem. Now if it is i three, if it is i three, okay, this two i six. Here we should get two x into three i x over here. You should get x over here here okay here you should get x over here because here 2x into 3ix over here here also we should get x okay here we should get x so we can say i i into 3x so i into here 3x we have therefore it will be cos of 3 t 3x plus i sine of 3x okay here 3x is there 3x is 3x now consider over here the real part of this okay the, the real part of real part of this is what cos of 3x cos of 3x why because this is imaginary part okay real part of e raised to i 3x is cos of 3x so instead of this okay instead of this i can write like this e raised to 2x upon 13 now what we have is 
e raised to i 3x is what is same as e raised to i 3x is same as cos t cos of 3x into i sin 3x let's write down instead of this let's, let's write down this okay here is equals to e raised to 2x upon 13 real part of what is this this is what cos of 3x plus i sine of 3x into 2 minus 3i you have to multiply this and and from that you have to find real part okay now this is mean c raised to 2x upon 13 real part we need to find now here what we will get is this into this we will get real part okay here 2 into cos 3x okay Again, this into this will get real part, but here we will get i square, i into i, i square. What we have is uh, minus i square 3 into sine of 3x. But other rest will be this into this, it will associate with i, this imaginary part. If you, if you apply this into this, it will associate with i, that's my part, we will not consider over here, okay. Now this, now i square is what? Minus 1. Here minus minus plus over here. Okay. Now real, this is the answer. Okay. This is the real part. This actually real part. This is the required answer for question number 19. This is the MIT uh, integration B qualifying exam for the year 2017. Question number 19.